Hello everyone, my name is Fazal. You are watching MFA Civil Engineering. Based on the method of construction, structures are classified as a load bearing structures, frame structures, and the composite structures. The choice of the method depends on the various points, like the extent of the construction means the number of floors of the structures. Depend on the importance of the constructions means the structures may be a residential, industrial, or the temporary. Depend on the economy means the low cost housing, middle class or the high cost housing. Depend on the type of the land means the bearing capacity of the soil. Load bearing structures are those structures in which the slabs or the roof are rest on the wall. Wall is rest on the wall footing. The load transfer mechanism is in a such a way that load of a slab or the roof is transferred to the wall, wall to the footing and then footing to the hard strata. Hard strata is a high density of a soil which having a capability to resist the load of a structures and prevent a settlement. Load bearing structures is economical up to a 2 storage but it can be a constructed up to a 4 storage. As the height of the structure is get increased in terms to transfer a load of a structures effectively to the hard strata, the thickness of the wall get increased. It result in a reduce in the usable floor area of the structures. Load bearing structure is suitable only where the hard strata is available at the shallow depth as the wall footing is rest on the hard strata. Nowadays, only a less important work is constructed in a load bearing structures. Frame structures consist of a frame of a horizontal and the vertical member called as a beams and the columns. The slabs and the roof is rest on the beams. The load transfer mechanism is in a such a way that load of a slab and the roof is transferred to the beam beam to the column, column to the footing and then footing to the hard strata. In case of a frame structure, wall does not carry any load except its self weight. Wall is constructed only to enclose the area since the thickness of a wall is very less as compared to the thickness of wall in a load bearing structures. Frame structure can be economical up to a multi storage and also the speed of a construction of a frame structures is a much faster as compared to the load bearing. Frame structures may be a steel structures or the RCC structures. Frame structure is suitable where the hard strata is available at the greater depth as the frame structure having a provision to provide a pile foundation. Nowadays all the necessary structures are made by the frame structures. Composite structure is a combination of a load bearing as well as the frame structures in which the load bearing wall is provided externally and the columns and the beams of a frame structures is provided internally. Thus, the floor or a roof of a structure is rest on the both the load bearing as well as the frame structures. It is suitable only where the hard strata is available at the shallow depth as the external wall is a load bearing. Most of the warehouses or the industrial shed are constructed as a composite structures.